Hello everyone and welcome back to the Popcorning Piggies. Oh, and right on cue we had a popcorn from Digger. Thank you. So, today I thought I would do a video. I have four male guinea pigs that live together, if you didn't already know, if you're new to our channel. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video, if you are. And yeah, so I have four boys that all live together in this lovely big cage that is part of the way through completion. We will be finishing very soon. Um, we stay still, I'm trying to film a video. This is Rolo and this is Digger. And the other two boys, yes, I know, I know. And the other two boys are hiding, I think, at the moment. So I quite, got, quite often get asked how I have managed to bond four boys together and I have to say there are a couple of different techniques um, or basically ways that I help boys get along and to coexist I guess is the best way because I know a lot of people have lots of issues with sometimes just two boys living together and um, boys can be quite temperamental they can be quite dominant but I've heard actually from quite a few of us piggy people that girls can sometimes be worse than boys can't they Rolo? oh you look so cute okay so ways that I keep the boys happy and living harmoniously together the first one is you will need two of everything that is water bottles so you can see I have one on this end and then I also have another water bottle oh, on that end I keep them separate so that if someone is sat drinking then the others can obviously get a drink without moving them or hustling them it still happens from time to time but uh, at least then if they if someone is like digger does sleeps under the water bottle everyone can get to another one um i don't know why he does it because it drips on him but that's his new favorite place to sleep so we'll we'll go we'll go with that um, the other one is two food bowls. Um, I'll insert some footage here of that because they've already been fed for tonight. I've just cleaned them out, hence that why they're looking so clean. Um, but yeah, two food bowls. I don't do this with pellets, but what I do with pellets is I make sure, and same with veggies to be honest, is I make sure I put the pellet dishes and the veggie bowls in the middle. Hello. Yes. In the middle of the cage. Um, this is so that all four boys can get their heads in it and get around it and there's obviously no scrobbling and pushing and shoving and I do two veggie bowls um, again just to help share out the veggies and make sure everyone can get to it and yeah everyone still sort of takes a veggie and runs away with it quite often um, but that helps them all get access to them so there's no arguments. I've just noticed there's a Miko face in there, look. He was just having a yawn. I think Finn's in the wooden bridge. Oh yeah, there's Finn. Finn's just poking his head out. Okay, so the other thing is big hay areas. So you can see this is literally a third of the cage is their hay area. Um, and having a consistent big pile of hay is also really important. So this hay rack used to be up there. I was finding they weren't touching it, so I took it off and put it on the floor because at least having the hay in this, they can get to it really easily, like they can all pull it out and that far end is open so that they can get to it there. Um, and I'm finding that they, obviously this helps keep it clean because they can't pee and poop all over it. Um, they can pull it out and pee and poop all over it, but at least the majority of it, it means there's always clean, fresh hay in the cage at all times. So yeah, I may take this end off, haven't decided yet. Um, at the moment, just having the one end open helps somewhat keep the fleece that end tidy, but we'll wait and see. So yeah, having a big hairy area, obviously hay is 80% of a guinea pig's diet, so that's even more important in terms of um, kind of their teeth health and their poop health and all the rest of their health. Um, really important that they obviously continue to have access to hay and that all the guinea pigs can get to the hay without a fight and without pains in the bums that stop them from doing it. Okay, so next one is to have lots and lots and lots and lots and as many as your cage will take houses and hideys. It's up to them whether or not they use them. Digger at the moment is demonstrating his use of one. 
which is very rare for him. Like I say, he quite often sleeps under the water bottle. I don't know why. But even if, like my four boys, they all choose to sleep very near each other in these two, you should have, pro I would suggest, enough for every pig to have their own house. So you can see I have two here. Obviously, they have this section. And then they have another two houses up there. So everyone has enough. Hey, my love. To have one each. Now, my four boys, because they do get on, do decide to sleep all four around this area. So Digger's there at the moment, Miko's at the back, and Finn's in this um, close-up section of the wooden house. Um, and Rolo, at some point, will probably nudge his way in there. Because um, that's my boys all get along and quite enjoy sleeping together. On and off. You still like time alone, don't you, Digger? Yeah. So, that's another one. The other one is to, as I think, hopefully, if most people adopt and don't shop, um, then matching personalities. A reputable rescue will help you find a guinea pig that will match your current guinea pig, or will have already bonded two or more guinea pigs together that have matching personalities. Um, I have always been very lucky in bonding mine, um, but because each mine have, except for these two, the two newbies, have, well, all of them, but all of them have, have always been adopted um, and they have been added at different points. So obviously I started with my two original guinea pigs who sadly are no longer with us. That was Gus and Rocky. Um, I have them on this channel. If you see any videos with other guinea pigs, that's them. Then we added Rolo, who came from an adoption bay. That's why he has the tear in his ear, because um, sadly he didn't get on with the other pigs at the pet shop. But so he was being sold as he needed a special home and couldn't go with any other guinea pigs. And I've obviously proven that wrong. Um, there's a whole video on his adoption story if you're interested in that. So he came along and I managed to bond him. Um, Digger then came along and um, he's going to be nearly one soon. Um, and I managed to bond him. And then obviously we've had the other two. Now it's important to say that when I've had each pig, they have been um, kind of kept in quarantine for a certain number of time. This is to obviously make sure that they're healthy. Um, I'd rather have one sick guinea pig than infecting four. Um, but it also allows me to assess their personality. Um, so very early on, I knew that Rolo would be very submissive. Um, that's just his personality. Um, and Digger was one I was slightly worried about because he is quite a flamboyant, um, that's not a word, flambunctious, that's a better word, um, little piggy who has some character. Um, luckily though, because when I adopted him, he was young, he did settle in quite well with my existing pigs. Um, him and Rocky at the time did have some kerfuffle, but nothing too bad. Um, poor Rocky had some health issues, so unfortunately was always going to be bottom of the herd. So he could get on with that. He just liked lots of friends. And obviously the same with these two, the latest adoptions, if you like. Hello. Um, again, these two were kept separate for a while so I could assess them. I wasn't too worried. They were very, very young um, from the adoption bay this time. Um, and so when I added them with these boys, these boys are both pretty um, calm, like they're not too bothered. Um, then it all went well. So like I say, um, assessing personalities is a big one with boys. Um, Always, if you can, adopt, don't shop where possible. Um, and like I say, um, the rescue, if they're reputable, will have already um, bonded boys with personalities that go together. Oh, you just look so cute. Um, or they will help you find a pig that matches your current pig's personality. So, yeah, that's that one. Everyone's getting tired, aren't you, boys? And then my last and final one is with boys and certainly young boys. So all mine, Rolo's currently my oldest. He's just over one and a half. 
Um, Digger is just coming up to one and the other two are only a few months old. I'm not sure on their exact age, but a few months old. Um, oh, Miko, you look so cute. Um, these, obviously, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that all the pigs that I have had, all six, have always enjoyed running around. So you can see that the cage is currently open. I have a floor cage because I like mine to be able to access floor time very very regularly and, and my own schedule so they have a huge cage that makes it look even bigger but yeah it is a pretty big cage it's a two by six and a bit in the way that two by sixes work um, and basically every evening this opens up and they get the whole floor which you can see is is piggyfied in the sense that they have their own cat bed yes i know um and they get all this huge living room to run around they especially love under the table which is why it currently has some fleece under it <laughs> um so yeah bo my boys all six have always always loved a good run and I find that that not only gives them time to burn off some energy, which is always good, keeps them trim, but it also allows them to have some time on their own as well. Um, whether it's interacting with me on their own or whether it's just time away from the others just to kind of zone out. Um, Gus was always one that really needed his own space. Um, just needed a break sometimes, even though he was boss, but... Yeah, even the buses need a break. There's Finn. Hi, Finn. <laughs> so, oh, piggy on. Right, so that is my video for this week. Um, tips on how to keep boars happy together. Please let me know if you have any other tips as well. I think the biggest one is the personality, to be honest. Um, all the rest help keep boars with good personalities together um, but I think personality is a big one which is why I personally support Adopt Don't Shop um, where possible. I know that other countries don't have as great um, adoption kind of and rescues that we'd have over in the UK and I know the USA is also great so please where possible adopt don't shop the rescue is there to always ensure that your piggies and you have the best possible experience with piggies because damn they're good pets <laughs> um so yeah so that is my video like i say like this video if you enjoyed it um let me know if you have any other tricks and topics and things that you want to add in terms of keeping boys together and happy and i will be back next week for another video bye guys